two prehistoric monsters that are wonderful. Triceratops, the number one favorite plant eater of all time, and coming out of the nostril hole, Anamalacaris. Triceratops is 65 million years ago. Sounds like a long time. Anamalacaris was 500 million years ago. It's one of the earliest big, scary, wonderful, bizarre, grotesque, fascinating, mysterious critters ever. My name is Shanoa Ellinghouse, and I am a natural history illustrator and the owner and designer for Paleo Pals plush toys. Andy the Anomalocaris and his kind have been eclipsed by big prehistoric celebrities such as T-Rex and this lovely mosasaur right here, basically a giant lizard. And it is time that we bring these critters to light. My wonderful colleagues at the Morrison Natural History Museum have made this wonderful project possible. I like to teach kids about evolution by having them look at fossils, or stuffed toys of fossils, like Andy here. Andy the Anomalocaris has been brought back from extinction after 508 million years using fossil data and a lot of love. Hi, I'm Greg Talley and I'm the co-owner of the Dino Hotel. And we're a Best Western that is chock full of dinosaurs and all kinds of natural history goodness. This is a chance uh, to reach children at an early age, just like you can with ABCs and 123s, uh, to teach them about the ancient seas, and that's where Andy comes in. For years, I wanted to create ancient plush toys that really do exemplify what we find in the fossil record. Paleo Pals are an asset for any museum or institution that want to give kids an opportunity for educational play using real fossil data. We will be carrying these in the museum gift shop for sure, and I recommend that every museum does that. I've never seen such a fine Anomalocaris toy ever. Now, this um, sculpture has great play value, and playing is part of learning. So one could, uh, you could talk to your Anomalocaris, or your child could talk to your Anomalocaris, or your um, Shih Tzu might get frightened by your Anomalocaris. But there's a lot of science here, too. I think having plush toys that are built off of actual fossils like Andy here is a great idea. I don't know of anyone that's doing this. It is very important to take these abstract theories, regardless of the topic, and try to relate it back to something concrete. And that's what Andy represents, is a concrete uh, learning tool that's also cute and cuddly and strange. For our biggest campaign contributors, we are offering a very special tour of the paleontology of Morrison, Colorado, the place where the first massive long-necked dinosaurs in history were excavated by Arthur Lakes and backed by the world-famous paleontologist Marsh in the late 1800s. Now you may ask yourself, I certainly would, wow, this is so wonderful. I can teach the Cambrian explosion with Anamalacaris, you certainly can, and deep sea Food webs, you certainly could. But I'd also want to know, I want another one. Where can I get another one? In fact, the Anamalacaris is just the first one of a series called Paleo Pals. And the next one will be my all-time favorite amphibian in the whole history of life, the boomerang head Diplocolis. Andy needs a good home, and his home is with you. Learning through hugs. Mm -hmm.